Well then, how can you tell when you're really in love? And welcome back to my channel. Look who I have with me today. It's the beautiful Georgia Lauren Birch. Cute. Happy Hi. days. Um, and today we are filming a collab, my first proper, our well, first our, both of us, yeah, first proper YouTube collabs. Um, we're currently in Georgia's room, which is a bit weird for me because I watch all of her videos, so I'm like, yeah. I'm like, I'm actually, I'm like, a it's fine. We keep like knowing things about each other that we actually haven't I know. said. I know, it's one of these weird things where I'm like, oh my god, like, yeah, you're from Leicester. She's like, mm. Uh, I don't know. I'm like, I know you're from St. Albans, like. <laughs> and in today's video, we're going to be talking about like our top academic uni tips. So like tips to get you up for your 9 a.m. in the morning, yeah. tips to help you like with your lecture notes, tips to help you with just uni generally. Just to survive um, uni, basically. Yeah, basically uni survival tips. Oh, is what we go. Oh, that's nice. good. We are also filming a video on Georgia's channel where we talk about like student lifestyle tips, like things to help you deal with your life, save some money, make yeah. your life a bit easier. Mm -hmm. So if you want to watch that video, then I will leave the link in the description or somewhere on the screen around right here. Um, and yeah, let's just get straight into the video. Yeah. Okay, so if you've watched my videos before, you will know that this is like one of my biggest hacks for just uni in general but one of the things i would say would be to pre-format your notes um so before i go into any lecture any tutorial i will always go online um we have like an online platform called moodle which is where they put all the powerpoint slides all like the like handouts and everything and i always check them like the day before and sort of format my notes so I have all of the titles and subheadings and like any bullet points ready to write my notes in or like copy quotes over and stuff like that and it honestly saves me so much time. That is a good tip. If you can do that, definitely do that. Yeah, obviously like you won't always have time and like you can appreciate like that's not feasible for everyone because yeah. everyone, you know, people have business and schedules. And courses are different. Like I started doing that yeah. last year and then this year it's just got too much because my course is like very sciencey. Yeah. So it doesn't really work so I now just type underneath slides but it's difficult it's it is difficult. easier to like format them before because then you just have them yeah it's difficult because also myself and georgia we do different courses so obviously i do english georgia does psychology yeah um well, so <laughs> we love a bit of a busker <laughs> we love a bs <laughs> so her course is much more like content like throwing content at your face whereas mine's much more like wishy washy do what you want um, yeah, when you post that thing on your story the other day, like, I'm just loving my three hour seminar. I was like, I can't relate, just can't relate to that. But it's just like a lot more mathsy and science than I thought. So it's like when I'm trying to oh, retype yeah. my notes and there's loads of equations, I'm like, I don't have time for that. Psycho Pi. Literally, so we don't know her. Psycho Pi, we don't like her. SGSS, we don't like her. She doesn't go here. <laughs> we, we just, she can't sit with us. We don't like <laughs> she her. can't sit with us. <laughs> right. So, my first academic tip would be don't leave your coursework till the last minute. Oh, do not, no. Just because. I just, it shouldn't work. No, do you know what? If you leave it to the last minute, you will be. I don't understand people who no. leave their. I feel like it'd be work. awful quality as well. Like, I feel like I need to, like, write a bit, think about my ideas, like, write a bit more. I feel like I could never just, like, have all my ideas and just go for it. I mean, yeah. fair play if you can. Yeah, give yourself, like, the space and the time to actually, like, consider mm -hmm. what you want to say, especially if you're doing, like, essays and stuff. Yeah. Like, if you write it all in one evening, you're not going to have, like, space away from it to actually, like, consider what your argument yeah, is. Yeah, I change mine literally so much over, like, the yeah. weeks I do it. And, like, I don't even really know what my argument is, to be honest, no. for, like, a long time. Like, my lab reports are on Wednesday, I still need to do the title and just figure my life out, but... Yeah, so give yourself the time to do that. I mean, although to be fair, you still have to to Wednesday, and a lot of people leave it till the last, like the day. I just, I just don't get how people do that. I feel like no. your work would be such, not to the best of your abilities. No. Basically, that's the thing. You want to like, you know, you want to like, do the best. You can give yourself your best life. Yeah. Basically, and that's our tip. <laughs> so yeah, that's our tip. That's our tip hack. <laughs> that's our tip hack. Basically, we don't know whether to call it tips or hacks, so we're going for tip hack. So these are our tip hacks these for are our tip your hacks. uni life that you need. So we um, hope you enjoy our tip hacks. So my next tip is actually using Microsoft OneNote. So I don't know if you've ever heard of this. No, I haven't. So also you've got like Microsoft Word, you've got PowerPoint, you've got Excel. We all know them. They're like the big bad boys of like the Microsoft world. We know them. Yeah. So OneNote, OneNote is like the new girl. Oh. She's like come to, she's like, I know, she's like come with like her new swanky skirt. She's like here to stay. Oh, wow. Um, basically on OneNote you can, you have complete creative control over like the document. There's no A4 lines, Ooh. there's no anything. You can draw in there, you can do highlights, you can like freehand highlights. I've literally never heard you of this. You can drag pictures onto it, you can drag slides onto it and like edit the slides. PDF documents, you can move so stuff can around. So you can a slide and then type next to it? Yeah. Wow. Um, also you can like do audio recordings on there. So if you're in a seminar, you can like just literally click audio recording. Do you do that? Mm -hmm. 
So obviously they don't wow. record seminars. I don't know. Well, no, that's so or true. They don't do lecture capture on your course, and I used to do audio recording for that. Um, oh, that's sneaky. And it's, <laughs> we love a sneaky queen. <laughs> we love her. Um, and yeah, basically, I'm just a one note stan. Like, I. We love her. What do so you actually good. use one note for? Um, so I use everything. I literally, I wish I could show you. So they basically have like notebooks and you can like separate the notebooks into like headings and then within that you can have pages that you like. Yours is probably really organised, isn't it? I, I, just, really I can just imagine your one note, like mm -hmm. here's my My notebook. proper colour colour coordinator. Wow. So like for one module it's all got like a main colour and it's got like This is giving me like colour. inspiration to just get my life organised. Yes. So I hope it's giving you guys mm -hmm. some inspo. My next tip is to because I didn't really have time to like write my notes before and then like write them after. And also because I don't use type notes for revision, I always write them out after. So I kind of thought it was a waste of my time. So um, I started like just reading through the slides before and making mind maps. So I find that really helps. So you know if you like know what's going to happen in the lecture. That's a good idea. Then I feel like you can understand it so much more. Because sometimes like I have a 1 till 5, right? On a Thursday. It's literal. It's, How it's, rude. It's not the 1. It's so just not rude. the 1. Um, so yeah, I feel like if I don't listen to it before, I literally just zone out and have no clue what's going on. So yeah. I feel like writing them before, like kind of, I just do like a little mind map, like jot the ideas down and well, then it's also so much easier. It's also like, by doing that, like you'll know where they're going with it. So yeah, you exactly. So like, so you don't hear like, a point and you're point? like, what are you on about? What's yeah. your actual point though? Come on, get to the point. Yeah, whereas if you like make a plan, then you can know the point because you've already like seen the point, if that makes sense. You just know the points. You know you, the point. You just know the point. See, we have um, seminar slides, and sometimes like I'll be really sneaky and read the seminar slides, and they'll be like, hmm, "What's the answer to this question?" And I'll go, "I never put my hand up for anything." <laughs> I don't even. Um, but there was this one time where I like, had read the slides, and it was like <laughs> one of the slides was the question, the next one was the answer, and you'd read so it. So I read you it. Knew the answer, I, was like, right. I was like, I was like this. I know the answer. I knew that I know if you write, I was like, blah, blah, blah. And she was I like, get really scared to put my hand up in case it's wrong. Like, I just get so scared. You know, I start, I do, I start putting my hands up, like, hand up in lectures. I'm like, I don't no, want to no, no, I'm, no, I'm not that person. I'm not that person. It's like when the lecturers say, like, has anyone got any questions? Really, they don't mean has anyone got any questions. They just mean, like, let's move on. Yeah. But we had this one status lecture when he was like, anyone got any questions? Like, 10 people asked questions. I was like, I'm just wanting to move on, really. I was like, I don't really care. Like, I'll reread the slides. I'm yeah, not like, asked. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> My next tip hack is, <laughs> okay, hack. so have you ever had it where you like really, like just actually genuinely struggle to get up for your 9am, like it's actually it's just actually an issue. I don't know how I used to get up for school, I always I think this, like how did I get up at like 7am for school? Yeah, see I'm really bad at getting up for my 9am, so, like I honestly struggle so much, however, not anymore, well I do still struggle, but it's, it's like, it does make you get out of bed. So instead of setting alarms on your phone, mm -hmm. get like a physical alarm clock, like make it cute, you know, you could get a copper one, you could get a digital one if you're feeling fancy. Just get make it cute. And then put it somewhere really obscure in your room. So like put that it on top of your idea. wardrobe, to put, put it like behind some books on your bookshelf, like literally, I mean, I mean put it somewhere obscure. And set it to, set it like 15 minutes before you want to get up. Set multiple alarms as well if you can. If it doesn't that would just be the most annoying thing. I'm just telling you about Steve and I have to go all the way to the back of the bookcase. Oh no, no, I know, but that's the point. Then you have to up. get out of bed. That's and so by that great. point, I always leave a note by it like, as well. Like, if you don't go to this, you'll fail your degree. Like, I'll say something like that. Um, and note then that yourself. gets me up. Although it's quite funny because obviously, <clears> myself and my boyfriend live together and he, that's not his favourite game that we play. He doesn't like the, <laughs> where's the alarm clock game? I'm um, the worst person. I like to set an alarm on my phone and I like to snooze it. Constantly for like an hour. I'm such a snooze. I know that's why. That's why you can't snooze a no. physical alarm. You no, know, I wish I had um, an ensuite. So you could put the alarm in the. If you have an ensuite, put the alarm by your shower. That's such a good. Idea. Then you could just get straight in the shower. Yeah, you have to. And you also leave a. Be also, I really like it because you can like leave abusive notes along the way. Like, True. get out of bed. I yeah, hate you. Literally. Um, you'll fail your degree. Okay, so my next tip is going to be like try and make it to as many lectures as you can because. Honestly, like missing lectures, they accumulate so fast, mm. don't they? Like last year, I decided in the first semester not to go to stats. Don't know why. I just thought, well, I don't know why I decided. Good. I just thought, you know what? Let's just not go because I just, I just, I'm not a fan of maths. Mm. And then literally at Christmas, I was like, why did I do that? Because I had all of those like rewatched, <laughs> like recatch them up. And also, I feel like if you start not going, it's like they build up. No, they really do. They accumulate so fast. They like, do, and they take so long to watch. Also, yeah, catch up as soon as you can. Like, if you do miss one, then, like, that's fine. Yeah, like, fine. everyone misses things. But, mm -hmm. like, just try to catch up as soon as possible. Because the yeah. longer you leave it, the less likely you are to even catch up on it at all. Mm -hmm. And you um, want it all to build up. And stress. then exam season comes around and you're like, mm, I wasn't there. And you don't want that. Yeah, especially if they're not recorded, like you've kind of you've kind of got to go into these yeah, things. Exactly. So my fourth tip is that you don't need to do all the reading, no. and that's coming from an English student. Like you don't. So they give you a great big massive list of like secondary reading you need to do and core reading. Core reading, yeah, you need to do that. 
further reading though like definitely like you probably should do maybe two on that list if that and that is like me really like pushing the boat out they'll give you a list of about 15 different things you need to read and let me tell you right now for free <coughs> you don't need to do no. even half of it even the core reading sometimes like i don't know about you probably you might have to yeah but like in first year like, i didn't do any of any reading not gonna lie yeah. and i didn't really need it but the thing is mine was multiple choice in first year yeah so well it's, it's, it's a bit different maybe with science courses because i feel like all the content is covered in lectures whereas ours mm. is a lot more independent like yeah and we also have essay styles so we'll need to do some reading but mm. definitely not all the reading i don't think i don't think anyone does all the further reading oh, so if God. you're like in first year getting stressed about these massive lists of reading i was in first year i was like i could never read all that and you mm. don't need to you don't. okay so my next tip is going to be definitely take snacks and make sure you have a drink for lectures because I literally have, like I said, the four hour chunk. And if I didn't have any snacks or drinks for that, no, I'd be no. a goner. Half mm. the people do leave, like, after the first two hour lecture. But I always, like, push myself to stay. Got my little snacks in the middle. <laughs> and then I feel like you're just ready for the break. Yeah. You're looking forward to the break. I need food. I need coffee. Yeah. I need my snacks. I, I swear to God, I, I will start to fall asleep midway through the lecture. I don't have something to keep going. I actually do feel sometimes, like, drop, drop asleep. I a tiny bit. I'm like, no, no, no. Do you have it when you're, like, really warm and cosy like this? Sometimes you get so comfy and you're like, oh, I wish I'd go to sleep yeah. there. So my final tip would be to use Google Scholar to your advantage. So if you can't remember the reference so to something, good. or even if you like want to find an article to back up your point, then you can literally type in a few keywords on Google Scholar, and it will come up with like specific journal articles with the reference in different referencing styles so that you good. can literally copy and paste. Yeah. Um, and it's gen it genuinely like saved my life so many times when. Like, I lost the reference for something, and I was like, oh my god, where did I get that from? Type oh, it into Google Scholar, and it's there. It's so Google good. Google Scholar is so much better than Google as well, because you, I don't know about, is it every course? You, you can never really use websites. You have to no. use like, articles, yeah. books, whatever. And Google like, Scholar doesn't, doesn't have websites, it just has, like, literally the articles you can use. Yeah. So when you should, like, looking through yeah. and it has, stuff you can use. Exactly. And you know that it's legit. That's from Google Scholar. True. I believe anything on Google Scholar. Um, Google <laughs> Scholar says it. I'm like, I believe it. Google Scholar could say the world, the world is flat. I'd be like, you know what? I'd be like, you know what? Google Scholar like, first. I okay, go. Do you know what? Fair enough. <laughs> and also, um, there's this thing called Owl Purdue. I don't actually know how you say it, but that's really good because you can like good. click the reference in format and like type it in. It literally just gives you the reference. That's actually really and good. also the in-text reference. You know, like the brackets. It's oh, really wow. good. Oh wow, that sounds good. Yeah. So yeah, that's a good referencing thing as well. Okay, so Oof. my final tip is to prioritize and plan so uni can be like a bit overwhelming i always think uni is so different from school because you can never be like finished oh, it like never you can ends. never ever finish your work like when my mom's like have you finished your work i'm like no never never will i finish my work don't ask i don't think i'll finish it when the degree's over it genuinely feels you, like that. you always can do more so i feel like if you're the kind of person like me that you kind of want you're like a bit stressful and you want to like get everything done and just prioritize yeah prioritize just like make a list what have you got to do for like certain deadlines mm -hmm. like right now i have loads of things to do but you have to just like think about what you've got to do first like hi like literally i have a do you know what i do i have a must do could do and should do Ooh. list so your must do is things that you absolutely have to do that day like that's you good. have to there's no other option could do is stuff that like if you did it it would like really help you out tomorrow and it would be like really good but like it's not of utmost importance like things you know you don't have to do it yeah um, and the should do is things like, like, you know, like you'd be a really good student if you did that, but the real, the, you know, you're realistically not going to do it. It's like the further reading, you're realistically yeah. not going to do it. But that's thing you should do, but you don't like have to do it. So I think we've just about finished filming our tip hacks for this video. Um, I really hope that you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to give it a thumbs up, hit the subscribe button and the notification bell if you'd like a notification every time I upload a new video. I will leave a link to the video that myself and Georgia filmed on her channel in the description below and somewhere on the screen around here. And also her channel tag above her head. Oh, your well, Instagram, thank you. Your Instagram and your Yeah, channel. my Instagram and my channel is the same. Just Georgia Lauren Birch. We love that. We love consistency. <laughs> Definitely follow her on Instagram and subscribe to her on YouTube. I'm literally obsessed with their videos. I watch them constantly and Thank you like so much. genuinely our videos are so fun to watch. So same with you. We're just watching this video. We're, we're like we're like number one fans. <laughs> we literally we're just speaking to each other like we're like you go. Love, we're like, love, you go, love, 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 love. love. Oh actually yeah. ow. Comment down below if you have any sort of like academic revision uni hacks tip hacks tip whatever hacks. else maybe this um, is gonna be a new trend tip hacks yeah maybe we should like do a hashtag tip hacks um, comment down below your hashtag no yeah comment down below your hashtag tip hacks <laughs> um yeah and help me make my life more efficient <laughs> i really hope you enjoyed this video and i will see you in the next one bye bye <laughs>